Hey guys, Struck here again. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing great. Summer is upon us, nice and warm. Um, I'm going to be doing a commentary today against uh, a team that is basically the new FURIA team now. The majority of the FURIA players now have been replaced by members of this team. Um, this was in COP week 3 or something on seasons. Now I, I, I chose this uh, map because you guys don't have any season commentaries on the website and um, it's being used in CGS this season I mean uh, Juan won both of them if I'm not mistaken 3D won both their season matches uh, either way uh, maybe I can give you guys some good insight on this map uh, and uh, the team isn't you know top class team but you know they're, they're, they're now basically a CGS team so hopefully this is a decent competition um, on this map, I play middle basically with an op most of the rounds. Um, we play a little different setup than most people would think of. Uh, we, usu we usually play two guys on the far left side, the B side, two guys sometimes middle, and usually one guy in A side. Now we change it up a little bit because if they really work middle a lot, we like to have two people there, lo a lot more pressure on it, and make it harder for them to cross into A. And then I can quick rotate into A anyways. Uh, if they don't really play around in middle too much and they like to sp they like to go more so a side we play two guys right off back there and sometimes we just play a complete passive to trap them so I'm playing aggressive right off the bat here um, they do the common flash over the over the box I try to avoid that and I manage to get a guy by tires with a quick rescope and I just keep pressuring this middle I keep ca catching flashes and I saw a guy cross right so right away I'm telling my teammate one cross watch your short and he listens for the subway and watches short at the same time I can rotate into sight and we have just strong formation all around I get here a little late but see the guys are already up there but um, they're fighting the guy who's watching short because he adjusted and I really have basically two easy, or two easy kills on the side uh, right there everything is gonna be alright so you guys uh, like I said summer everybody doing good because uh, I've been playing a little bit of basketball lately, getting a little bit of sun, sun, uh, sun tan. Uh, things are good. I hope everybody's doing all right. All right. So the second round here, once again, I'm using, I'm, I'm taking a wide angle here, as you notice. I don't, I don't hug the wall like most operas in in the leagues you guys probably play do. I take that wide angle because most people who try and come out expect the player to be in that corner. With that pole, I can move around a little bit, and I'm on an angle that nobody really expects. They played it really smart this round, as you see. They rushed that subway because they know we don't really have a guy there right off the bat in the, in, in, in the rounds before that. And luckily, uh, Fam is able to shut that down. So from now on, they'll be even though uh, even though this round we are able to shut it down, um, they probably will try and say on, on their vent when when um, when they're playing. Oh, there was just a rifle there. We can usually exchange with him and break out. So they're going to try using that to advantage later. But we have already noticed that they tried to rush um, that subway there. And we're going to be there next time. Well, a couple rounds of hit here. So I use that pole a little bit there to avoid that flash well enough. And I'm able to stay unblind enough so I can see the guy crossing. So I get that kill on him there. And one of my players drops right away to be. It's a little risky rotating through these vents. But since I got that early kill right away. Um, I'm thinking I can get away, I can get through there because, um, especially if I just clear that out. Now, I miss a shot here, a guy jumping out, I, I zoom in late, but look, I rescope in later when they f settle in. On, on, in. on their screens, I'm gone, and they're thinking I fell back or something. So, I, for a few seconds, I, I, I hide away from, from re-peeking. If I would have re-peeked right off the bat, those guys posted up with, uh, on me right there, would have killed me. I had 48 HP, two bullets on AK or an op posted up, I would have died for sure. But hesitating to re-peak that a little bit right there, and then re-peaking maybe five seconds after, let me re-peak into the site because they knew still that there was one guy in B somewhere hiding. So they have to clear the site while still worrying about me. And if I wait a little bit extra ben, time, so silly, I can please. catch them on that moment when they're looking for that second player. So that was uh, smartly played by me. Uh, we lose another, uh, we lose a player again and quickly in B, but we get trades. Now, um, my guy in vent rotates again, so I have no vent is clear. And instead of rushing all the way to where my pl my teammate was, if I would have rushed, um, you'll see this later, more evidently. I stay back and I wait for them to come. 
Um, because if I run intermediately and, my, and the player who's still alive, if I go try and back him up and he dies and I'm running towards him mid, m uh, and he dies before I get there, I'm going to be stuck in a shitty position and my teammates die and I'm going to be alone again. So we're going to lose one player. Who, who We lost that early player in B. Then that one player who was left, me trying to rotate him, if he dies and I'm halfway to him in a shitty position, he's going to die and then they're going to catch me with an op in a shitty position. So instead of trying to get to him, I tell him to try and fall back if he can, and I find a position that's going to be advantageous for me. I keep playing this middle aggressively um, because they just keep trying to take it and we're killing them every time. So uh, they keep giving us the opportunity to do that and we're going to keep we're going to keep fighting them back. We have the advantage in the middle, so um, we feel confident about that. Uh, right here two of our teammates die and right away I'm playing really passive here I'm flashing my corners making sure there's I mean um, I don't run into anybody run who ran up to me uh, he didn't go for me he went short as you saw Misty is able to kill him so we didn't really change anything still yet um, on this map on CT keep playing it the way it is we're winning the rounds I'm changing up uh, my, my pick position because they've always been expecting me to come out wide. And I, I play the corner of the wall there because I can avoid that flash, as you just saw. And they just flash this time and nothing comes out. So right away in my head I'm thinking some kind of semi-fake in the middle of making, making sure that they know we're present there. But that's all that's trying to do. And then and the, and the rest of the group is going somewhere else fast probably. That's what I'm going thinking in my head. They went subway. Um, but we had two players there right off the bat. You saw we didn't play anybody in middle other than me, and I played it kind of passive. We had two players on subway right off the bat, and they got completely shut down. So um, that is a variation right there. And th those little semi flashes, we we notice every time they actually try and take middle. You know, they they smoke and then they then they flash and then they come on stuff. They didn't do that at that time. So right away, I'm I'm yelling on vent. Guys are probably hitting somewhere else pretty fast. The guy trying to op me there, they're changing up that middle take, um, but they're not very successful. No real action B, I uh, decide to come back in the site. We lose this round, and this is probably because I rotate through connect uh, the turnpike here. Instead of rotating all the way around, um, which I probably could have done uh, easily, I had the time, and I missed that easy shot there, which I really shouldn't have. And there it just goes through the guy somehow. Um, so if I would have rotated upper like I did the previous couple rounds, I would have had a better position. That turnpike just gets you, you're getting shot from everywhere. You get a shot from the stairs, guy from like up top there by the sandbags, guy by the box in the site. It's just a shitty position to be in uh, as an upper. Lots of uppers try and rotate there, which is fine if you have two coulters in the site. But we only have one coulter and I really need to rotate all the way back around. Justin here comes in and gets four crazy kills. Um, we don't manage to defuse in time because he eats a gr eats a grenade somehow here. Um, but that keeps our money down. So good job, Justin. We're still in the situ we're still uh, we're still in a good position here. Even though we just gave up one round there. Now I think I die here, um, and this guy gets some kind of ridiculous shot. If you have a clear, uh, I can't remember how clear the the VODs are, but the guy is clearly at the top of his jump and somehow manages to headshot me midair. That was just absolutely ridiculous. Um, so I fall apart. I, I mean, I die. If, and if I die, if the guys in the other in the A side don't get the first kill, probably we're just gonna just completely crash. And that's what just happened there. Everybody died and we just fell apart, usually. Um, and that was just yeah, unlucky right. round. Sometimes things like that happen. Just gotta play through it. Once again, Justin coming in and just keeps cutting people down. Ridiculous shots. Uh, really good player. Um, it's a shame that he's not in CGS.
very underrated. Ben, don't pick middle on here. Yeah, don't pick middle, Ben. Now our money situation is still okay. Um, we're not running very very many ops. That's a really good thing. Uh, lots of amateur teams will be running a lot of ops on this map, and that's really not that great of a thing, or any map really, unless it's train where you can maybe run two. Because um, you want to always have your money situation on control. So if we lose a few rounds here and there, we can still continue to uh, buy. Um, like this is the round where we're really rotating to my teammates is, is key. Instead of rushing forward and c continue trying to, to um, get to my teammates, I just pick a good point for myself and I and just uh, and I, I try to hold it the best I can. Now my teammates are rotating and I know they're planning, so I'm just trying to stall them before my teammates. It's hard to plant. As basically, when somebody's planting, it's a odd man situation automatically because that one man, if it's like a three on three and somebody's planting, it's a it's actually a two on three, and you gotta use that to your advantage sometimes. So if you're stalling them with by flashing and stuff and letting your teammates rotate and you got a 3-on-3 three -three situation and they have to plant, it's really more like a 2-on-3 situation and that gives you advantage to, to take back that site when the guy is planting. So um, I just stall for my teammates, wait, wait, wait. My teammates spread out after um, there's nothing that's happened in the site. One guy tries to walk up around me and I'm double scoped so I see his foot way ahead before he peeks me and then just tear his knee off. Um, once again, we go um, we go to a, like a little passive setup here, um, because last couple rounds they've only like tried to pick middle. They didn't have cross or anything, so I decide to to call the two guys playing straight A. Um, we get a kill in B. Usually, when I try to work B, um, there's there's bomb that's been there. So my guys get a bunch of kills here, and uh, once again, instead of trying to rush forward to get to my teammate, I just hang back. Uh, and this, and in this case, he gets all the kills. Great. If he had not gotten those kills, I'm in a good position to get a shot and then fall back and be safe and stall from my teammates. If I try to run up to my teammate who's in the action, I might he might die and then I might be caught in a bad situation. So, as an opper, specifically as a colter, you know you can move around a little bit more flexible. As an opper, you want to make sure you have positioning over anything else. Um, your teammates, you know, are there to to do the dirty work as an opera, you need to just make sure you have the key positions held. Um, I like a guy there. The guys are crossing, so I rotate right away because um, we see in the middle. Um, we we happen to lose the guy, and, and the thing is, um, on this round, um, they realize that I'm rotating into the side. Now I keep this in mind all the time because it's really obvious when when you play teams on this map. After the opera takes a pick in middle, he usually rotates to the A side, and I realize that. They aren't hitting the A side. They're probably trying to do a split somewhere in the middle. So I call that quickly. My teammates adjust very quickly. And like I said, I remember that when I talked about the bomb plan, it becomes a 2 on 2, becomes a 2 on 1, etc. Well, I had a teammate there who was holding that, that hallway that was fam right there. And there, were, there was one guy planting, one guy somewhere. I didn't know where the other guy was. I cleared the top so he wasn't there. So either he can be under the, under the cement or he can be on the stairs. And with the guy planting, he's basically, it's a two-on-one for a short moment. I go in and kill that one guy, and then it's a two-on-one again. So, um, I use that to my advantage. It's when one guy is disabled by planting. Being aggressive at the right moments is really key. And that really comes with experience and knowing who you're playing. I know these guys are a little fluster flustered from losing to us a few, uh, getting killed by us by a lot. So I mean, they're gonna go for the plant really, than trying to fake it. And uh, he paid for it. I died right away. Uh, this this time round, I think the guy had just a good shot on me. I didn't really see him in that smoke. Uh, my teammates are able to exchange really well, and uh, they get good position. And uh, we quickly realize that the bomb is planted in the opposite site. Uh, a site, not the B site, and guys get a good retake. Now, one thing you'll notice here, fam, is, is staying back. Okay, 
Okay, he's not running in the side. He's just clearing at wide angles. Okay, that's really key because if he spots a guy with a wide angle, he can turn and hide away and using the walls and stuff much easier. If he cuts short angles, close up on boxes is like a short angle. Um, he won't. There's a chance that he might just get headshot and and, and w because he exposes a lot of his body. Wide angles, you expose only a little <laughs> bit of your body at a time, so he has time to spot people, let n let them know where the where they are, and then the whole team converges eventually. So fam t uh, retook. Uh, pretty good there, nice and slow, and uh, and even though he took it slow, he even got those two kills. So all you hung kill hungry players out there, um, you know you don't have to rush in and, and show your muscle to to retaking. Um, play smart, and you'll still probably get your kills. Um, going to the second half here, we really didn't practice this map very much, um, or any maps this season that much. We just we really just know how to play with each other, but we were just running simple stuff. I'm since I'm opping more so on the team. I'm taking um, the middle job a lot. Um, I have to beat them this time now on CT. Now I come out really aggressively right off the beginning, and I eat two grenades. Now um, this is really isn't that bad of a thing because later it pays off for me because I, I'm able to just come out and play that aggressively in that middle. Uh, or showing them that I'm confident enough to do it. They're gonna have to use the grenades earlier a lot of the rounds. You'll notice that most rounds are just gonna double grenade right off the bat. Right away, that you know, that's two grenades they have to use up. And I can get to peek out later after they use the grenades. After they grenade, I decide to just random peek out because they can't just random grenade me anymore. They don't have the. Um, I can just walk out peek after the double grenade. It's just a good. Um, I'm just. It, it's a mind thing. Um, team-wise, where they know that they have to use the grenades in the middle or they might get picked. So I'm playing aggressively in that middle in the beginning, even though we lose this round. It pays off for me later. And I believe, actually, we lose the first couple rounds in this middle. Um, just getting beat by bad angles or we don't get a grenade anymore, other than you go away f later in the game. But, um... Uh, we just get beat by bangles and later when we start to they, they keep grenading and we just start peeking out through the smoke and stuff we start uh, killing them here we had a little um, miscommunication now I realize they played two guys in the middle right and what is when I when we played CT side what weakness did I talk about when we were a CT, when we were two middle the weakness is um, two players in middle means only one guy in A and I call for a rush into Subway. Now, there's a miscommunication here because when I say we should have rushed Subway, my guys don't didn't really rush. I had to op and I was waiting for them to come out because I can't really lead with an op in close quarters here. And um, and that, that was a bit of a miscommunication. If we would have just rushed out and I would have posted an opera on top, Man. we would have had the site, no problemo. And we, we would have overwhelmed them. Um, unfortunately, we s we slowed down and we tried to smoke it. Give him give it, it give him it give him time to, to rotate. Like say something and then I was like, okay, let's do it. it sounds good. No, you just when, say, when you try to take spots with um, by uh, by outnumbering people, you have to do it quickly. If you don't do it quickly, if you try and smoke and then flash out. Players from the stronger sides of the map, such as when they play two guys middle, that's a stronger side for them, is going to rotate very quickly. I mean, it takes them maybe 10 seconds to rotate. So you got to get out there into the site before they can rotate. And that, and then after that, after you have position, it's you're, 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 it's much easier to get the kills. So we use that to, avan to our advantage later. I call that again. For now, we, ch we change it up. Here's another just... We had such... Weak rounds in the beginning, just bad luck. Um, the guy pushes. I'm kind of blind. I expect my teammate to kill him, um, and he doesn't. And I shoot my teammate. It's, uh, I don't know how that happened. It was just a big mess of flash and grenades, and uh, so we lost all our guys there. And that's really detrimental to me because I buy a lot of ops uh, because I'm you know oping for the team, and that just cost me another three grand uh, for killing somebody. So I'm dead broke here. And um, although we really don't need ops against these guys, it seems like because the way they play middle, they they uh, double rifle, and you'll see I'll get AK kills later. Um, but that just 
we had a bad start and we still managed to pick up the next couple rounds eventually you'll see um, so uh, opping is not always necessary you don't need to always save for your team to get ops five man rifle uh, can play super good especially if you use the advantage of how they play on the on the sides so two guys middle two guys uh, B one guy A we use that to advantage you'll see fairly soon here um, so instead of trying to split A or do something in A uh, because we got shut down so hard in B last round uh, not a bad idea to do B twice um, teams will usually as soon as as soon as they get shut down in one spot teams will try and work the other spot and uh, on the map so as a CT they're thinking okay we raped them at B last round they're probably gonna try splitting A so we send a fake somewhere around A and then we split the rest of the um, and the rest of the guys come B again, and uh, because they did those deep nades there, that even is even more convincing that we didn't they didn't hit anything, and we actually are hitting B. Our two of our teammates died in that moment. We have to go because if we don't go, we lose that advantage of that fake. So I just run in, guns out. Luckily, the guys on the corner, I give them a, a quick headshot, and we gain good, uh, quick positions. I hold the middle ground of the site. One guy is about top and watching the back. One guy penetrated through, which is good because he can catch people. Uh, rotating um, they're already trying to retake here and I managed to do like 90 damage to two people and I'm kind of finished them somehow just unlucky but luckily because the guy pushed through Pram right there he got two easy kills there a third excellent kill and a fourth just awesome awesome shot um, and cuts down everybody and we win the round so don't don't make when you take sides Realize which person you are in the site. If you have the bomb, obviously you have to stay in. That's why I stayed in the site. If you're the third guy in the back, like Trevor was, he realized, okay, I'm too far back to push through. And if I do with Pam, it's just too many people. We risk, to lo risk losing two people right off the bat. Pam is the first guy uh, out of that group. So he realizes, okay, I have the moment here to push through very quickly and maybe I can do something. So he did push through. And when you're playing with your team, Try and recognize which guy you are and what role you should take when you're in the sights. Okay, you, you don't play because don't play in hiding if you always hide because you're a passive player. Don't always push through because you're aggressive. Just realize who, you, which position you are out of the group, and try and adjust accordingly. And that will make your team just that's natural teamwork from your team. Okay, we didn't we didn't discuss that when we were coming to the site. People just knew where to go just from where they were on on the attack. Okay, so just a natural teamwork. Here, I don't know what these Mexicans are doing. They stack in the corner, and uh, so <laughs> weird. But uh, yeah, they win that round. And here we start to. Uh, oh, here's the eco where we just get destroyed. Or, or possibly no. Actually, I think we uh, we win this round. But after this round, um, because um, we just took B right um, previous round, and then we got shut down at B again. Um, so we're we've had enough of B here. Uh, we're just gonna mess around in middle and do our standard A split here again. Now I uh, now I don't have the op like I did before previous rounds, and because we smoke it, that op isn't very helpful. I just it just uh, seems to um, hinder me, and I make a dumb jump here. I'm peeking everywhere, and I j and you'll see that I um, oh maybe not. This is sorry. I actually killed that guy pretty good, um, and then my teammates who push through calls for me in the pit and I'm just I'm just moving around there's no real logic to this uh, whenever I see a guy or, or I'm, a guy is called out for me I just move accordingly so there's no real logic I'm just moving around fragging this, this round um, 2 on 1 here and since our money is kinda low I don't want to risk it here too much I don't want to keep repeating the guy even though I can probably outshoot him no problemo um, I'm just moving around Flashing, stalling, I see him rushing, you know, he's blind. And instead of going after him, I'm just stalling, stalling, stalling. Playing cat and mouse to the last moment, so he has no chance of winning this round. Um, and yeah, cat and mouse in two on one is really important. I see the uh, amateur players make the mistake of always trying to kill a guy, especially if they, 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 like they threw a flash or something and he thinks he's blind. Uh, and then they turn the corner and try and kill him, and the guy avoided the flash well enough and kills them. And they're like, oh man, we wasn't blind, blah, blah, blah. And then becomes a one-on-one, -on -one and the guy kills him, and then defuses. So instead of um, you know ins use that flash just to stall time. If he's blind, he's blind. If he's not, then you're far back enough that doesn't matter. And just stall time, play cat and mouse, even in two-on-ones, to guarantee a victory here. 
I randomly peek out because the double grenade always remember so I'm just just here I'm just killing it I'm just deciding hey aggressive I'll probably be able to jump out and kill a guy no problem now I have 5 HP here and most players play pretty timid you'll see we'll lose this round but I play extremely aggressive try to make something happen my teammate comes out and tries to kill a guy and I'm playing aggressive too I'm just spamming we have a Coulter and I just pop him in the head with a little bit of tapping there not I don't burst my AK just tapping I move around playing really aggressive with 5 HP. I managed to kill three guys, um, and uh, it basically turns the whole round around. Um, Fam has 100% HP at this at this moment, but unluckily he gets picked, um, and now I have little to no hope. Coming to this site, I'm thinking, okay, the guy took a shot from upper with his up. He probably moved already, so I'm trying to th think maybe he's being smart or something. But no, the guy just hide it, hit in top. And, uh, and there's nothing I could have done there. 5 HP, bombed down, with two guys alive, so. I have a shitty situation now. Um, because I was able to just come out middle last time and just straight AK guy, the guy, well, I think we decide to. Oh, no, never mind. We actually, um, I actually have. I haven't played this, I haven't seen this match in a month or so now, so I can't remember exactly all the rounds, but we just rushed B here and. This is just a simple eco for them to cut us down. Nothing special. I mean, choke point, two Colts. We're uh, we're gonna die. So, uh, well well played by them, I guess. Um, so here we are, um, and we and we know that we've been running quite a bit of rounds uh, rounds here, and they've been winning quite a bit of rounds. So, the money situation is pretty close. Um, as you see, I'm bought out there, so we really need to win this round. And if we win this round, most likely they're gonna probably have to eco. So um, we keep that in mind always when we're playing the money situation with the other team. And there, there, there goes the grenades, and I come on just a vicious, vicious shot on the generator guy. Um, in the demo, watching it now, it looks like I was cheating almost, and uh, um, um, I can't even see that guy. But yeah, I remember just a great shot there, and then uh, I tapped this guy down too. Three kills real quick, and um, I'm on my, on my way to almost acing here. Yeah, on the city side, Fam almost aced, and I stole his ace. So here I almost ace, um, and uh, Fam steals my ace. Uh, karma, as that would be. So I just turn away from that flash. That guy carelessly didn't check that spot. That wasn't anything great or anything. So I try and kill this last guy here. I, I actually did like 80 damage right there to the guy and fam stole it, but you know, <laughs> karma. So and that's the end of the game right there. Um, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Now on seasons, um, I might be doing. Uh, I, I I I recommend you guys check out some of the CGS games. They're using it in the in the season this year. Se they're using season in the season. Um, great team, 3D. Uh, plays it very well, and uh, our favorite guy on that team, I, I assume everybody's favorite guy, won, um, pl plays some pretty good strategies on that uh, team, uh, on that map. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't we didn't do any anything special on that map because without practice, we kind of did standard things there. Um, hopefully, I helped you guys out a bit, and I uh, wish you guys uh, uh, a good time in the summer. All right, take care.